there's been so many parts of um, the local history that has been either washed away or bulldozed or um, just uh, forgotten. When you really look at the boat and it sits over there in the corner of the, uh, I'll call it the southeast corner of the museum, it lights you up. A lot of people want to know what that boat's about. Seaport's a community museum. We're located about 30 minutes north of Atlantic City. Uh, very easy to get to. We have things for people of all ages, which makes it pretty unique as a museum that you can come with little kids, grandparents, uh, you can come on your own, you can come with your family. There's lots of exhibits to explore on the coastal culture of New Jersey, which includes art, history, and the environment. And people often come looking for something specific uh, to enjoy, and as they go through the, the different buildings around the museum campus, they find new things that they become interested in. ready for the Seaport's 25th anniversary in 2025. So we're going through the original binders and in the original binders was the Coast Guard exhibit. So it was always a uh, core to the museum, core to the mission, um, especially uh, being so close to the water here and being such a critical piece of history. It was always included. I think you got to keep it part of, the, uh, part of the Seaport, part of the museum, part of our history and having the kids come here from the different elementary schools or high schools, whatever level, middle school levels, and educate them about it, because I think it's something that you don't want to let go. There's a picture of a 40-footer over there. I remember uh, we had the beat in Newark, New Jersey. Um, I think it was at the uh, train station up in there. And there were maybe 20 of us from around the Northeast that ended up meeting in, uh, in Newark. And we got on a Coast Guard bus, flat gray, painted, and uh, who came down the Garden State Parkway. And I remember going across the bridge over the canal in Atlantic or in Cape May, and the bus driver saying, Well, that's where you're headed, boys. I look away and thinking, well, what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> I mean, I've had plenty of times I'm in the boat with my grandson and here comes the helicopter, you know? Like, what's that? You know? Well, US Coast Guard orange helicopter, you know? So, well, what are they doing, you know? Well, they're patrolling the beach, you know, or they're, you know, they had a call to go check out something or look at something. Well, the Coast Guard is so is a very small service. Uh, a lot of people may have heard about it, but I doubt they know what it does. It covers search and rescue, buoys out in the uh, in the bays in the ocean, uh, law enforcement. Uh, the role is very extended. People don't realize how much is involved with all this. To be honest with you, uh, and. Um, you know, it's, it's a, if I had to do it over again, <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. Here it comes, ironically beating back the biggest of waves, but pausing to stop for a stoplight. Rolling slowly now through the center of town. In 2015, uh, the Coast Guard boat was moved here by Atlantic Structural Movers. Uh, so they had to uh, get a special permit to bring the boat uh, in. They had a big crane uh, where they lowered it onto the pier where it is now. It was incredible to watch and to see it placed on its cradle there. Um, we decided, uh, the exhibits committee decided to have the boat uh, facing the water so it looked like it was going out to rescue people. So even the placement of it was really um, thoughtful uh, when they put it there and uh, it instantly became a, a featured outdoor exhibit here at the Seaport. I 
in all honesty, <laughs> the boat needs work. <laughs> I mean, it needs a lot of work. The boat is was built in, I believe, 1966. So it's uh, quite a few years old, to say the least. I can just see right now the horns, uh, the searchlights are missing, um, and all, all the electronics are basically missing. Uh, so if it needs to be brought back, if they wish to bring it back to somewhat what it used to be, uh, these items are going to have to be found and uh, procured somehow. It's had some tough times. It rolled in 1974, rolled completely over, and um, the crew on board uh, suffered quite a bit. Uh, and uh, But that's probably the worst that did happen on this boat. I think for the for the boat itself, I think, you know, the upkeep and everything it would take to take care of this boat. I think a lot of people were, to, you know, in a position where they really couldn't accept it in a sense of, you know, a, a place to uh, to have it for a new home. And I think the seaport is basically, to me, a, uh, a perfect place for it. Um, and I think it can live forever for here. You know, it's a uh, it's an icon piece. I think it's a piece that uh, can teach a lot of the young and uh, a lot of the kids that are in school today that come here to visit the seaport, uh, to be able to tour a boat and talk about it uh, and see, uh, see really the, the people that were involved in it and have it come to life and, uh, and teach them, you know, basically what it was like, you know, uh, and the history of the boat. I think learning about your local history is critical to understanding it, appreciating, wanting to preserve it. Um, so I think the Coast Guard is one example of that. At the Seaport, we take a lot of um, history topics that may be seen far away or distant and bring them close to home so people can really appreciate them, see how individuals played an important part uh, in really important events. If, if we can preserve this bow here and, and have it for an educational tool, I think it would be a great thing. This was a major part of uh, Long Beach Island. Um, it's a, it's a, just a good piece of history that should be preserved and uh, maintained. I think for, for most kids, I hope they go home and sit at the dinner table at night and talk to mom and dad or grandpa and grandpa about, hey, this is what I saw at the seaport today. This was really cool. You should go look, tell their friends, tell their neighbors. And the thing of it is, when you come here, there's such a variety of things that, you know, it can trigger in different directions or mindsets of, you know, what do I want to do in the future as a young boy or girl? I think the new component of the Coast Guard boat is an oral history project. So we're very excited to be capturing people's stories because it's great to preserve um, items, artifacts, and boats, um, but to have them, to give them a voice and allow them to speak, we really want to capture people's stories before those stories disappear and be able to share them.